Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today we've got a dupes video. So these are some of my absolute favorite videos to film. And the day that this video is going live is my birthday. So I figured this was the perfect day for me to share my favorite type of video. So if you've never seen one of my dupes videos before, I like to call these like buy this, not that dupes and alternatives because some products we're going to talk about in today's video are pretty much identical. And then there are others that I would categorize more as an alternative that's extremely similar to the point that when you apply it on the skin, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. I love sharing amazing drugstore makeup over here. You guys know, I love a range of products and a range of price tags, but I am such a firm believer that you don't have to spend a lot of money to find amazing products. And this video is a great example of that. So let's go ahead and hop into the dupes. Okay, I don't even know where to start. I've got dupes for Becca, one of my favorite Sigma brushes, First Aid Beauty, Milk Makeup. Let's actually start there with a Milk Makeup dupe because this is my most recent find. So this is one of the cream products from Milk. I have a mini of one of their lip products to compare. This is like the full size of the bronzer stick. So pretty mini, but this was one of the products you could choose for the Sephora birthday gift this year. And I love Milk Makeup, so I picked this. And I've been testing this out for the last few days and it reminded me so much of something. And I'm like, what is this very similar to? So first of all, I have two dupes for this one. One that I'm gonna describe as a dupe and one that's more of an alternative. Let's start with the alternative. So this is a newer product to me as well. This is from Flower Beauty. This is actually a pretty new release. This is called the Gel Crush Lip and Cheek. So if you see this packaging, it looks like a little deodorant stick. Like it comes off like that and you roll it up the same way that you would deodorant and it's a very like oblong shape which I wasn't sure about at first but I actually kind of like because it makes applying your, br your blush pretty easy because I can just do like a stroke for on both cheeks so I will share comparison swatches of both I don't think these are color dupes I think the colors are slightly different I have the shade strawberry crush from flower beauty and work from milk makeup and texture wise these are a little bit different I would say that the flower beauty option is a bit more balmy but because of that I think it's a bit easier to blend out I would say this one doesn't fully dry down to ever be matte so I feel like if you have a little like bangs like this they might stick to the product a little little tiny bit throughout the day but this I think is one of the easiest blushes to blend out like if you are new to cream products and you're intimidated by them this is a great place to start but the one that I found that I think is almost an identical dupe is this one from Pixi. So this is their multi balm formula. I thought these were being discontinued for a while there because I have not been able to find them on Target's website and on Pixi's website, they have been discounted for a while, but I was looking right before filming this video and they still have five shades available. Everything seems to be in stock and these are marked down to $6 and I think they're gonna stay at that price. They used to be a little more than double that, I'm pretty sure, but they have been marked at $6 for as long as I can remember now and these are so incredibly similar even the two shades that I'll swatch for you guys I have the shade baby petal in the pixie one pixie also has one of these in a bronzer shade and I'm kind of curious if that is similar to the milk makeup baked bronzing stick but if you wanted to try a stick product like this, but you didn't quite want to spend too, too much on it, like the Milk one, I would go with the Pixie. The nice thing about Milk though, is they do also sell the minis. So if you didn't want to purchase the full size, they have a mini available as well. I will link everything down below as always. Okay, this next one I'm really excited about because this is one of my favorite foundations, but it is pretty pricey. So I actually used mine up. So I'm going to pop a photo on the screen. This is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Pressed Powder Foundation. So this is kind of an old their product it's been around for a while I swear by this stuff I think it's an amazing formula the nice part is it's often included in the 21 days of beauty from Ulta but it wasn't in the most recent sale but maybe in the spring I'll cross my fingers but I recently picked this one up to test out to see if it would be a dupe for it and I think they're extremely similar so this is from the Ulta beauty in-house brand which is cruelty free they this is called the adjustable coverage foundation so the only thing is I didn't buy a great shade match on this. So I'm still planning to actually go and exchange this. The shade that I purchased is light neutral. 
and it kind of looks like it might match for me but it actually ends up being pretty dark on my skin so this just like the pure cosmetics one is very buildable like you can get a pretty decent level of coverage with just this powder foundation i would say the only difference that i see between the two is in the texture i think that this one is slightly creamier but it's also a little bit more powdery so when i swirl my brush in i do get some kick up i don't really get hard i hardly get any kick up with the pure cosmetics one so that's really the only difference it's just the texture but i find both of them blend out so creamy neither of them look dry on the skin even though they are powder foundations also, this brand frequently goes on sale, so you could probably get a really great deal on this foundation if you're a fan of powder foundations like myself. All right, I have a brush alternative. So I'm normally such a firm believer that brushes are worth the splurge. I do have a lot of affordable brushes that I love, but what I found is a lot of times with the more affordable options, they just don't hold up as well over the years as like my Sigma brushes or my more expensive options. So that is a category that I don't mind splurging on a little bit, but this alternative I think is fantastic. And this brush line in general, I highly recommend. And those are the Profusion brushes. So I specifically have a dupe for one of my favorite and most used eyeshadow brushes from Sigma. This Profusion option is so similar and it is $4. You guys, the Profusion brushes in general, first of all, they're fantastic shapes. I think a lot of times some more affordable brush options have kind of like your standard shapes, you know. There goes Tilly into the closet but like your crease brush, your flat shader brush. But some of the more detailed brushes can be tricky to find at the drugstore, but Profusion has some really great shapes that you don't see very often, specifically this. So Sigma came out with their Precision line. I'm pretty sure it was earlier this year. And this is one of the brushes. It's called the E42 Precision Blender. And this line is great for someone like myself that has a smaller eye shape. And sometimes I feel like bigger, fluffier brushes, I just end up diffusing the color way too far out. It gets a little messy these you can really tailor she just walked out of the closet so I closed it again and then it goes right back in what I was saying these are great for targeted application so I will share a close-up comparison between this and the dupe which is the small pointed eyeshadow brush from profusion the ES6 the only difference I would say between the two of them is that the Profusion one comes to a tiny bit more of a taper at the end, but I kind of like that. I think that with this one, I can be even more targeted where I'm applying the product. I just think these are so similar and this type of brush is really handy to have to help diversify your brush collection and step up your blending. All right, this next one definitely falls under the alternative category, but it's a great alternative because the high-end product is very expensive. Look how small this is. This is just a little color correcting pot from Becca. This, these were popular like quite a few years ago. I don't hear a ton about these anymore, but I still think it's an amazing product, but it's $32 for just this tiny little pot of color corrector. So if you want to color correct, but you don't want to splurge that much on one, this one from Essence is $5, and I find the performance of these to be extremely similar. So this is newer. This is from their High Beauty collection. If you guys watched my review of that, you know most of the collection I thought was kind of a disappointment, but this I think is very good. So these, of course, like I said, fall under the alternatives category because this is a cream, whereas this is a liquid. But what I find is once I blend both of these out on the under eyes, they look extremely similar they're both quite thin but they still have that color correcting coverage to them but with a color corrector i prefer it to be on the thin side because i'm usually going to put a concealer over top of that if it's too thick that's just going to be really heavy and cakey on that thin skin underneath your eye i would also say that neither of these have like full opacity to them but because of the tone they're really good at kind of diffusing any darkness and making it look a lot more subtle and then once you combine it with a concealer it's pretty much gonna be all covered up. This, I think a lot of people would even prefer because it's just easier than a pot because you can just apply it with the doe foot. It's just easier to apply it that way. They both come in two shades. I have the lighter shade in both options. And if you are in need of a color corrector, I would try this one from Essence. All right, my final dupe is a little bit different than all the other ones. All these other ones, you know, the alternative that I have for you guys will save you a bit of money. 
This product is pretty similar, like cost per ounce wise to the original. They're basically the same price, but I did wanna share it because the brand First Aid Beauty, I no longer consider cruelty free. I know many of my audience does not either, but the Ultra Repair Cream is like my holy grail. I didn't even grab that, let me grab it. Okay, this is the mini size that I'm trying to finish up. I've used up a lot of it, and then I have another full tub, and I think maybe one more tub also, like, I really loved this stuff. And the reason that I loved it, I have very, very sensitive skin. I've told you guys before that sometimes even like different jewelry that I wear, if it's a certain metal that doesn't work well with my skin, I will get like a rash. And this is a great product because it is so calming. I can just put that on any sensitive spots that I have, any irritation, and it gets better so much faster. The other day, I don't even know what happened. I didn't wear any new jewelry. I didn't need any foods that I hadn't had before. Nothing was out of the ordinary in my day, but I got like a terrible rash all over my chest and I was going to bed and I was like, oh my gosh, like why does my chest look like this? And I just slathered some of this all over it in the morning, completely better. Also, I love it as a moisturizer, but what I found is extremely similar and I like even more, and the cost per ounce is pretty much identical, is this from Skin Iceland. So this is their Arctic Repair Cream. This is a new product. The reason I think this is even better than the Ultra Repair Cream, it is much thicker. So the temperatures here have dropped rapidly. Where I live in Michigan, we haven't had snow yet, and I'm actually sad about it because I love snow, but my family on the other side of the state, like they have all had snow already, so it's getting cold. And this just has not even been intense enough for me recently. I feel like I will apply it and my skin will just suck it up real quick, and then I feel like my skin is dry again, whereas this, is so much thicker. So the reason I think these two are very similar is the way that they perform on the skin. They both have colloidal oatmeal in them, which is the ingredient that's really great for sensitive skin, for uh, irritated skin, it's also extremely calming. And when I was comparing the first few ingredients on both products, they're of course not identical. I don't think they were trying to dupe each other, but a lot of those standout ingredients do carry over between both, like glycerin, ceteral alcohol, squalane. So a lot of those like really moisturizing ingredients are the same within the first few ingredients on both products. Don't get me wrong, a lot of those ingredients are in a lot of moisturizers, but I just find the performance to be extremely similar. The only thing I'll say with this, it's so thick that sometimes it's like pillowy. So sometimes I will like scoop some up and it will just like slide right off my hand because it's that thick and almost kind of whipped. But this is just so occlusive. It makes like a seal over my skin, keeps everything in. Also the percentage of colloidal oatmeal is the same in both 0.5. So that's gonna go ahead and complete today's video. Those are some products that I think are so similar. You might as well save yourself a little money and get the more affordable alternative. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I will leave some of my most recent dupes and alternatives videos linked down below as well. If you are new to my channel, I upload Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern and I would love for you to subscribe and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.